All right, so I've got a 2008 Volkswagen Jetta with the 2.5 that has the fuel pump just in the tank. Uh, came in with a no start condition. Could not hear the fuel pump kicking on, but you know, sometimes they're quiet. So, to verify that what we had was an actual bad fuel pump, we ran the codes. Uh, got a code for an oxygen sensor and an evap leak, which you know, we're not addressing right now. Because customer cannot afford it. They just need their car to run. So, <clears throat> we uh, pulled the rear seat up. And then we came in here and unhooked the electrical plug. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Because if you can't figure that out, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. Uh, but there's videos on how to do it. Generally, I take a pick and open it up, but... Yeah, it just depends. So, if you look, I've got a little test light out of a signal bulb. Yeah, it's not focusing real good. And then I took and put a couple little adapted pins on it. And I'm going to have to set the phone down here. But I'm going to plug it in to the two power wires. Uh, so you can verify that you actually have power back to the fuel pump. And you don't have a more serious problem. So give me just a second. All right, so I uh, got my thing plugged into the two wires. It's the blue wire and the brown wire in the plug. Just shove those down in there. Then I set this kind of where you can see it. All right, now let me go around to the other side of the car. Now I also verified, you know, fuse 27 inside uh, the car on the dashboard is good. So what you do is you turn the key on and crank the engine. The light comes on. That means there's power to the fuel pump. That means if the fuel pump was working, then you should be able to start the car. <clears throat> but what's the next step in verification? Well, you see, I've got a battery, extra battery laying around the shop. I got a pair of alligator clips. And then on the end of those alligator clips, I have a couple more connectors. I can go into the pump down here and yeah I've got mine labeled and you shove them in there and hook them up you know you might call them speaker connectors you know whatever you want to call them I'm really having a hard time doing the video on this because you know my eyes are crap and I'm holding a camera in one hand and trying to work with the other so you see mine's got a white stripe well I take it and I verify which one I've got it in. So I unhook this. Look at the plug. And you can kind of see how the plug hooks on. This plug's kind of damaged, but it still works. And you see the flat point, it goes over this way. Well, that's the blue wire. I've got the white stripe on the blue wire. Okay. Well, that me blue wire is the hot. My one with the white stripe is onto my red alligator clip. I pull the protective covers off my battery. Hook the red up. Hook the negative up. And nothing. So again, confirmed dead fuel pump in this car. We got it ordered from a local parts store because the customer gets a lifetime warranty. Yeah, you could spend a little less money if you're doing it yourself. Ordered on Amazon, I think it was like 60 bucks. I've bought those many a time on my own vehicles, and they work just fine. Uh, but, you know, it all depends on the budget of the customer. And also, you know, if they don't want to ever have to buy one again. So, you never know. Sometimes you get bad stuff. So, hope this video helps some of you. 
And uh, thank you for watching.